Here are my two Minota cameras. Uh, the first one which I bought first uh, is the Minota Dynax 7 or Dynax 7, uh, which was manufactured in 2000. And then this camera is really a top end model with a lot of buttons with the traditional uh, dials, compensation dials, and uh, yes, this is quite a standard and it has also a big uh, screen with a number of information, so absolutely a professional-like uh, camera. And it is not that heavy. With this uh, 28 to 135 millimeters lens is absolutely a brilliant um, camera for film photography. It's not uh, not cheap because this is the latest model. So this one is about five times as more expensive as my second camera, second Minota, which I bought actually coincidentally from a uh, English lady, Helen, called Helen. Possibly this camera was used to be owned by his father or husband. Anyhow, this is the 7XI, which has, in my opinion, the most stylish looking uh, camera I've ever seen. This is really a chunky camera, so def it's, it's heftier than uh, the 7, the Dynax 7, and uh, its user interface is completely different with this funks button, with this card, with this card, the exposure information is stored in this, uh, for a film, this has a right opening door and a power zoom, absolutely brilliant, so it's amazing. Anyhow, so this is the camera I used today for on my uh, photo walk and uh, this is the film I uh, completed this is the Kodak 200 uh, 24 exposure and then because I'm using this data memory card or data card uh, with this camera I'd like to review what were the exposure on this photo shoot? So the first was uh, uh, one tenth of a second at uh, f 5.6. This is the aperture. And when you when I press card, exposure compensation zero. And this was the lens, lens, lens focal length and the max aperture at that length. And then let's jump over to the next one. Mm -hmm. This was <clears throat> shot in P mode. 250. Zero compensation at 105. Three is the same. Yep. Oh, sorry. Fourth. Fifth. Oh, one thousand. With F eight. Six. <clears throat> As you can see, I love using the very convenient P mode, which I think is quite fine.
for this kind of photography I did uh, today. Nine. Mm -hmm. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. As you can see, I <clears throat> change the focal length quite often. Fifteen. Uh -huh. Wide. <clears throat> Seventeenth. Eighteenth. Okay. I changed here to aperture <clears throat> exposure mode. Possibly I wanted to have <clears throat> to use F4 <clears throat> to use it the widest possible at this uh, 45 focal length. Then I jump back to P mode. I'm not sure if I have a 26. Yes, 26 is empty because that's the end of the roll. So I was able to shoot uh, 25 uh, frames on that film. And then I'm looking forward to see uh, what is going to be the results. And then this video I'm going to use as a reference when I have the film developed to see uh, the results. Actually, this is the first uh, film I used with this camera. So, this was it. And uh, let me just show you another camera I have. another film camera and uh, this is the uh, Nikon F80 which I used uh, today and I completed this film roll of film too so I simply took it out from the camera like so it was automatically rewound by the camera and uh, uh -huh. so this film is Fuji color and this has 36 exposures Again, an ISO 200 film. Uh, unfortunately, this camera doesn't have a feature like uh, my Minolta camera, so I simply have no clue what 
exposure company uh, what what exposure details i used and most of the time i use p mode um yeah so on uh, nikon or nikon cameras i don't know if this feature is available at all at least this ca this category this camera actually is quite recent it was made also in 2000 in the year of 2000 the same uh, year as the, my uh, Dinox 7 and that's why it is interesting that uh, Nikon uh, hasn't included um, this uh, exposure memorization function into this uh, camera which actually uh, a lot smaller than these uh, other Minolta cameras I have so I'm looking forward to see what are going to be the results of today's film shoot.